Prince Charles steps in for Queen at Windsor Castle after doctor's orders to monarch. Prince Charles continues to step in for the Queen as she rests at Windsor Castle. Prince Charles was at Her Majesty's residence in Berkshire this morning to carry out royal duties. Donning a uniform, the Prince of Wales led today's investitures, during which he made a Dame Coronation Street star Maureen Lippmann. Dame Maureen, the first member of Corey's cast to be honoured, was celebrated by Charles and Camilla's official Twitter account. Clarence House tweeted, Congratulations to Maureen Lippmann, who was made Dame Commander today by the Prince of Wales during an investiture ceremony at Windsor Castle. A successful actress with a career spanning more than 50 years, Dame Maureen was awarded the accolade for services to charity, entertainment and the arts. The investitures are traditionally hosted by the Sovereign. However, over the past few years the Queen has shared this duty also with Prince Charles, Prince William, and Princess Anne. Since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, the Queen only led special investitures. In July 2020, she knighted Captain Tom Moore in the quadrangle at Windsor Castle for his extraordinary fundraising efforts during the first wave of COVID infections. In mid-September, while she was still on her summer break at Balmoral Castle, the Queen held a private audience with Peter Troughton, a family friend and member of the Royal Collection Trust, to invest him with the insignia of Commander of the Royal Victorian Order. He had been listed among the recipients of a CVO in the Queen's 2021 New Year's Honours. Following the Queen's doctor's order to rest, it is unlikely the Sovereign will carry out soon an investiture ceremony attended by a number of honorees, leaving this duty to her two older children and the Duke of Cambridge. On October 20, Buckingham Palace announced the monarch had regretfully decided to follow her medical team's advice to rest for a few days. This came after the 95-year-old monarch had carried out more than a dozen engagements since the beginning of the month. The Queen was meant to travel to Northern Ireland last week to mark its centenary. Next Monday, she was due to travel to Glasgow to attend the evening reception at UN's Climate Change Summit 26 Colombian pesos. But, Buckingham Palace announced yesterday, she had once again decided to follow her doctor's advice and remain in Windsor. However, the Queen will make her voice heard by delivering a video message during the summit. The most senior royal in attendance at 26 Colombian pesos will now be Prince Charles, who has dedicated his whole working life to raise awareness on the raising temperatures and other environmental issues. ITV royal editor Chris Ship noted the work of soft diplomacy the Queen was meant to carry out at the summit is not falling onto Prince Charles' shoulders. He tweeted, Royal aides say that the Queen very much wants at COP26 to be a success and see meaningful actions. Her presence might have helped encourage some leaders to attend, perhaps even to get others to sign up to strict carbon reductions. That work will now fall to Prince Charles. While the Queen is delegating some of her duties to her heirs, she has shown yesterday she is still very much willing to keep up with her daily duties. On Tuesday, she hosted two private virtual audiences with incoming foreign ambassadors. Moreover, she held a pre-budget phone call with Chancellor Rishi Sunak.
day she is still very much willing to keep up with her daily duties. On Tuesday, she hosted two private virtual audiences with incoming foreign ambassadors. Moreover, she held a pre-budget phone call with Chancellor Rishi Sunak.